of the key features of an energy efficient home is a heat recovery ventilator. So Joe, what's the benefit of one of these? Well, Julie, all houses require ventilation. The National Building Code of Canada was actually expanded in 1995 to require whole house systems for all new homes. Those systems don't have to have heat recovery, but in Atlantic Canada, we've found that using a heat recovery system is the best way to meet the code and provide fre fresh air and comfort to the occupants. Okay, so how do they work? Well, let's take the panel off here and have a look inside. An HRV has two air streams, one that's blowing stale air out of the house and the other that's bringing fresh air in. And at the center of it, in the core, there's a heat exchange. That stale air is at room temperature, and we're taking the heat from it to warm up the cold air coming in so that when it gets into the house, it's uh, nice and comfortable, and we haven't lost that heat to the outside. So that's the heat recovery happening right here in the core. Stale, warm air going out, warms up fresh cold air coming in so that you recover the heat and have ventilation all at the same time. Okay, so are there any special considerations with the installation of these units? People have a couple of options. Uh, it's fairly typical to put these in with all their own ductwork so that we've got fresh air ductwork to bedrooms, living rooms, and spaces like that. And we've got exhaust air ductwork from bathrooms, laundry rooms, kitchens, and probably the basement. But you can also combine this with a forced air heating system and use the ductwork, especially on the supply side, to provide the fresh air through the house. Is there much involved with the maintenance? Maintenance is pretty simple. You, I pulled the core out here before. You can see in almost all models this is removable. The instructions are right here telling you to take that out once a year or so and clean it out. There's filters to pick up some of the dust and particles before they get into the core. Same thing, wash those. And you might do a little bit of clean up inside the unit if there's any dust or particles in there. Other than that, the only thing you really need to look at is the outside hoods. On the outside of the building, you'll have a fresh air and an exhaust air hood. Make sure, at least once a year, that they're not blocked by leaves or grass that uh, could prevent uh, uh, free airflow. Okay, well, what do people need to think about when they're out purchasing one of these? Well, like most equipment that has to do with energy, you want to buy equipment that has high efficiencies. We've got some heat exchange going on here. These uh, units run from about 60% heat recovery to the higher efficiency models that are 80 or more uh, percent heat recovery. So you've got some range to pick from there. The machines are certified, so you can actually go to the certification site and look up the efficiencies and make sure that they're installed by trained licensed uh, mechanics.